Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin mining, Ethereum mining, cryptocurrency mining in general, and what it means for the cryptocurrency market as well as the graphics card market with what's going on in crypto. So before we get into the video today, make sure to hit that like button to help out the YouTube algorithm in recommending this video for more people so more people can learn about what might be to come in the future here, not only for cryptocurrency, but also the computer hardware market. So let's get into the video today. So we're starting here on CoinMarketCap, and as you can see, Bitcoin, $35,681. That's definitely down quite a bit from where it was just a few days ago, and even more so just a month or two ago. Bitcoin's fallen quite a bit, which means a lot of other cryptos have fallen quite a bit as well. Ethereum being one of them, Cardano's fallen down, Binance Coin, Dogecoin, XRP, scrolling down the list, it is Every single cryptocurrency is down some amount compared to where they were at least a week ago. So that's unfortunate for the people who are invested in Bitcoin, the people who are holding Bitcoin and other cryptos, and the people who are mining it because the computers that they invested money in and built up and, and maybe scaled out their mining operations either at MSRP or maybe even above MSRP for certain components could be in a really bad position right now. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about more in depth today. So this could be really, really good news for the gaming community and people who are just looking to build a new PC or upgrade their existing one. Because as you know, if you are in PCs at all or have been looking at graphics cards, looking at this list here, this is specific for mining, but you can see that this is kept up to date pretty well of the newest cards and the price that you would have to pay to get it today. Now, of course, this isn't going to be 100% accurate. If you did get lucky and got chosen to get one of these cards at MSRP, you would have to adjust these numbers. But using something like, we'll actually go with the RTX 3080, which seems to be a pretty reasonable card if you wanted to get the best of the best without really going up to the 3090 because you're not going to get a ton more performance and it is a lot more expensive if you're just using it for gaming or work. So the 3080, right now it says you can expect to pay $3,299 for an RTX 3080. Now if you were buying that specifically to mine, according to what to mine right now, you would be getting $8.50 a day before power, and if you had $0.16 cents per kilowatt, you would be paying $7.61 to yourself every day after power. That's with one 3080. Now, that's still a really good income for pretty much doing nothing, but you're paying $3,000, right? That's what this said here. Yeah, over $3,000 to earn less than $10 a day. That's not a very good investment. So looking a little bit more in some areas where we might understand what else is going on with uh, the mining profitabilities is looking at a card like an AMD RX 580. They have consistently been very, very, very profitable cards. You can see right now that you are going to earn about $65 a month with an RX 580 or that's about $2.12 a day. Now, if you just went back on this channel alone and looked at some of my mining live streams or mining rig builds or update videos, you would see that these cards, RX 588 gigabytes, were making probably $4 to $5 just a few months ago. So the mining profitability has been cut in half. As you can see here on eBay, I just did a quick search, RX 588 gigabyte. These cards are still selling for well over $500 in most cases. So what is to come for these prices and the market for cryptocurrency mining as well as for GPUs? I would expect to see as if the Bitcoin and Ethereum prices continue to fall in the way that they have been, that we are going to see the used market for graphics cards flood with new merchandise, meaning the prices will go back down. And I would not be surprised if mining Ethereum did become almost not profitable at all or to the point where putting in the time and effort to maintain and set up the rigs isn't worth it to some people, that we would see 3090s, 3080s, 3070s, and the newer uh, AMD cards 
all listed on eBay at or below MSRP, which is really good news for the people who just want to build up new computers for gaming or work, stuff like that. But it's also something that people who are into cryptocurrency should think about because we were in this same position in 2018 after Bitcoin had its great run up to $20,000 and then fell back down. The people who took the risk and invested in the graphics cards, invested in mining, continued mining throughout the bear market of 2018, 19, and 20, they did really, really well this this bull run. And if this bull run is truly over here and we do continue going down, I think we will start to see the market for graphics cards and computer parts start to come down in price. But it might not come down in price as quickly or as much as some people might expect because I think there are people that saw what happened last you know, last time this happened with Bitcoin and crypto, and they're going to think, well, I'm going to take the risk and invest in some mining hardware and continue mining through the bear market, or at least just to have on hand. Now, what's going to happen is really going to be dependent on the profit of mining Ethereum, because mining Ethereum is the most profitable for GPU at home mining. Bitcoin price isn't really going to matter too much, but if Bitcoin does continue to drop, most other altcoins like Ethereum and Dogecoin and Litecoin and Cardano, those are all going to drop as well. So mining profitabilities will go down over time if Bitcoin continues to fall. We will just have to wait and see what happens, but I think it'll be a really interesting thing to see what the graphics card market will look like on places like eBay and Letgo and Mercari, stuff like that, those used sites. But ultimately, I think the graphics card market should settle down and we may even see used graphics cards show up that were previously used for mining. And if you are worried about purchasing a used graphics card that was used for mining to run in your gaming rig, Linus Tech Tips does have a really good in-depth analysis of a brand new graphics card compared to a graphics card that was being used for cryptocurrency mining. And the test did come out to show that there was a little bit of a performance loss on the graphics card that was used for mining, but it would be almost unnoticeable in every situation. So definitely check that out if you wanna know more about buying used mining hardware for gaming and non-mining activities. But ultimately, if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, let me know why you didn't like it down in the comments below. And if you have any questions or comments about this or anything else related to cryptocurrency or technology, feel free to leave a comment down below or check out the Discord at the link in the description below. So please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.